So will crypto offer Russia a way out? Will it help the Russian government in some shape, form, or fashion? Um, I want to talk about that in this video. And so it's been discussed a lot in, in, in news articles that I've been seeing on Yahoo Finance and other finance websites. And uh, also I've seen it in some you know various chat forums and things like this. And so I'm going to give you my opinion on this. So number one, uh, all along the way, we've, you know, crypto's always had this, this, uh, very tenuous relationship with Russia. Russia wants to, they are a control-oriented government, obviously. Um, and, you know, just like China, they don't like something that they can't control. So China's outlawed crypto. We all know that. Russia outlawed it and then came back and said this and this and this and did a lot of weird things. And then now they've been, and now they've invaded, uh, you know, the, the Ukraine. Okay. You know, and so if you look at all this, uh, there's a situation playing out where I've seen news articles and content and people's comments that, you know, that that Russia is using crypto to finance their efforts and things like this. And, and I will tell you this. Number one, we know that Russia, you know Russia owns a ton of crypto. The government does. They do. You, we all know that. They own a ton of Bitcoin, Ethereum, altcoins. I mean, you, you have to believe that they do. Whether they officially uh, have outlawed it or not, they do. And so, but are they using it to finance the their war efforts in some capacity? I mean... I think there's probably definitely way other better uses of income for them, oil, things of that nature. But there's a situation here like, does, does, does crypto offer Russia a way out from Western sanctions? Again, my opinion, not really. It, you know, the, the sanctions are being levied on them via the banking industry. You have major companies just lining up, I mean, left and right uh, to to get to to end their relationship with Russia. You have Disney pulling out, American Express pulling out, and every single time one of these big, big companies uh, pulls out of Russia and doesn't do that because of, of what Russia's done related to this to this crisis, you have yet more and more companies that will do that. Like there are companies out there that went, oh wow, man, American Express just put, the, put an end to their relationship with Russia. We better do it too because of the optics, because of social media, because of the perception that if we don't do it too, then you know, that it's gonna be a bad thing, uh, impact for our company because we, we should be doing our, our part, you know, for this injustice that is transpiring with Russia and Ukraine. Okay, now back to crypto. So no, I don't think that crypto offers a way out from Russian sanctions. Are they, is, is Russia using crypto to finance some of their operations? I mean, you, you gotta believe it's part of their deal. It is part of it, but there's nothing that you or I or anybody can do to stop that because that's the nature of crypto. It is deregulated, right? It is decentralized, excuse me, not, it is decentralized is what I meant to say. Um, unregulated and decentralized. It is regulated in some countries, but you get my point. But there's always a way with crypto, right? For example, when China, just as a reminder, when China outlawed crypto, everybody, all everybody did was they switched over to the to the, to the deregulate. I'm sorry, to the decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap and Uniswap and using wallets, right? That's what they did, and they could still trade and trade crypto all they wanted. Okay, um, so at the end of the day, here's what it comes down to: is that I think that. There is crypto is definitely in play. Oh, by the way, crypto is being is is getting a front and center positive st uh, stage related to crypto um, with the news coverage of all of the crypto. There, there's been over like twenty five or thirty million dollars in, in in donations to uh, some of the Ukraine's uh, wallets. Okay, some of the Ukrainian wallets. Okay, and so there's a really cool factor here of crypto is becoming front and center in a positive ways overall. And I would tell you that, I would leave you with this thought. And again, I want your opinions. Drop in, drop in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that crypto, what do you think about crypto in the in the Russian-Ukraine crisis? What do you think is, it, it, what's your opinion of it? But, you know, crypto is, as I said, getting center stage. And I think that's a good thing, all right? And um, and yeah, and so a lot of coverage and, and coverage is a good thing. We need to bring more people into crypto. And that's what I think with the Russia, Ukraine thing. I don't think I don't think the sanctions are really, um, I don't think it's it's a way around sanctions because the sanctions are hitting their, their, their financial institutions, their business institutions, all of that. I mean, think about this. They, you know, they were cut off from the SWIFT banking system, which basically means no money can move via the banks via Russia. Now, this is impacting the everyday man and woman in in, in Russia, you know, and and you know, and there's obviously, you know, that's not a good thing as well. I mean, there's just a lot a lot here, guys. So, let me know your thoughts. As always, I appreciate you. I'll see you later. Bye.